Hello everyone, so this is Chris and Sarah, who will uh, oh, chat in a second. We just thought it'd be a nice idea to have a little walk and talk, because um, we're always talking about um, going out and having a break and staying checked in with your, your colleagues and teammates and all that stuff. So uh, Sarah very kindly featured in our, our panel forum a few weeks back and uh, was very open and honest to kick that one off. So I thought open, openness and honesty was a quite nice theme to, uh, to kick off Walk With Chris. So, uh, hi Sarah, how are you? Hi Chris, uh, yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Not too bad. I mean, obviously a bit up and down. Not too but bad. Not too bad. Yes. Mm. I mean, So that quite, really is I'm, a person, I suppose. Like, uh, how are you doing? You know, the, the ox oh, it's you. <laughs> you know the oh, oxygen sorry. mask analogy that we kept talking about before? Uh, and yeah, now I'm just yeah. putting your own on, yeah. Yeah, well, I suppose, Weirdly, um, obviously it's a very challenging time for everyone at the moment, so it has been a bit up and down, but um, personally, I'm actually doing quite a lot better than I have been for a while. Um, had a bit of a, a mental health crisis towards the end of last year, I suppose you'd call it, um, which um, is obviously, was obviously a bit of a struggle, um, and actually, it's through talking about it, um, writing about it, and all the rest of it, just sharing with people, um, that I'm actually feeling, in, in a strange way, better than I ever have, even though the situation is probably among the worst that it's ever been. So, um, yeah, an interesting uh, contrast, I suppose. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, that's great. I mean, it sounds like... Well, we've, we've obviously spoken before, so you, your last year was a struggle, but now weirdly better than uh, previously, even though with everything going on. So like, I, I suppose, yeah, how did you do that? What, what, um, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, so I suppose a few things. Um, sorry, I haven't really answered your oxygen mask analogy, but I'll, I'll get there. Um, all good, all good, all good. But, uh, yeah, so I suppose in personal life, I've started um, writing a blog, um, which uh, kind of my aim is just to raise an awareness of what it was that I, I was struggling with. Um, and also in my professional life, I have got involved with the um, kind of mental health and well-being policy at, um, at my company, um, which has been really rewarding. I suppose actually the um, the take your mask, put your mask, own mask on first analogy. Um, part of that, I have been sending kind of weekly emails, just kind of trying to connect people, asking people to send in pictures of what they're up to, or like stories or little tips, things that they found helpful. And some weeks, um, I've kind of not been in the right frame of mind to actually compile those and send out a message. Oh, hello. Um, so instead of kind of powering through and just sending out something that wouldn't be authentic, I kind of just thought, okay, I'll wait till Monday when I'm in a better frame of mind. Um, and then I can actually give people something that is what I want to give them and will hopefully be a bit more uh, helpful and good for them. So in putting my own mask on first, uh, I've then been able to give something <laughs> a bit better as the outcome. There you go. Thank you for coming back to the question. That's no, great. It's great. It's great. So, um, I mean, it's pretty relevant now as well. And we we want to keep these kind of little snippets of conversation relatively short. But I think at the moment there's a lot of people uh, thinking about going back to work. And, yes. And also HR, obviously, or well, people responsible for employee wellbeing, they've taken on quite a burden themselves. So I'm just interested in in uh, that story. And I suppose a lot of people listening might think. Or that, that might resonate with a lot of people. So, um, any anything else you would add to that in terms of taking care of yourself, or things that you've seen at work that people have done that have really helped them? Um, taking care of yourself. I suppose um, one thing our um, MD is quite is really good at is kind of um, so our, one of our values is um, about being human first. So expect, ex accepting, sorry, that everyone has their own lives outside of work their own ways of dealing with things and communicating um, and I suppose in terms of putting your own mask on first he was quite clear at, towards the beginning 
like look, if you wake up in the morning and you're really not in the mood to work then don't work um, you can get the work done in your own time or if you're really struggling just talk to us and we'll work something out and I think it's just in your working life looking after yourself is just admitting when you need help um, or when you're struggling I would say awesome thank you so much uh, I, I definitely think that makes a lot of sense and uh, as last question uh, sure. and I know pe people will be able to get in touch if um, they got questions afterwards as well and we'll probably chat yeah. a bit later anyway but yeah. um, is there anything that you're really proud of that you've seen in the last in the last few months through all of this whoa <laughs> Sorry, just, just got attacked by a few dogs there what just, um, <laughs> just like three dogs just like yeah. came pounding towards me um, we'll go focus on that focus on that what am I really proud of um, I suppose it's um, in in the work capacity is the way that um everyone's kind of banded together and looked for ways to stay connected um so we uh friday night drinks for example is quite a big thing um at our company so we've kept that up virtually which i thought at first would be really weird but it's actually worked quite well but it's also um accepting that that's not for everyone and trying to find different ways um to socialize not you know around um the pub culture or whatever um, and also away from zoom um because zoom fatigue is real uh, so we've been doing things like book clubs um a joint uh, we've called it the iff movement challenge where we we all agree a target distance and then at the end of the month we um we, we record all of our runs and at the end of the run, month we see her post we got to that distance as kind of a group which is quite a nice shared goal cool. and a good way of making sure people get out um, yeah, I think it's just the way that everyone's kind of taken to it and um, again, just really paying attention to that being human first and being honest and looking after each other, basically, I would say. Love it. Thank you so much, Sarah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's call it That's there. Right. Um, cool. I think it might be about to rain, actually, as well. Um, but Not thank ideal. you so much. No worries. I'll speak <laughs> to you soon. <laughs>